All right, so we found um, all kinds of things here. We found our x and y intercepts. We found the maximum here and the minimum, uh, we were, which are turning points. Um, we were also able to um, draw this in. So we've actually taken care of quite a few of these. Our next two parts, the last two parts, say find the domain and then use the graph to find the range. So we can do that. Um, let's see, I'm going to write that here, part G. The domain, now this is a polynomial function. So if we understand how domains work, for every polynomial function it will be negative infinity to positive infinity. And based on the graph we can find the range. Our lowest um, y value is this negative 25.96 and because that is a valid point we can use a bracket and from there our y values go up then they go down then they go up forever and ever and ever so our highest y value would be infinity now our last part says use the graph to determine where f is increasing and where it is decreasing so for part h I'm going to identify intervals of increasing and intervals of decreasing. So looking at our graph, and let's read it from left to right. As we start out here at our first x value of negative infinity, it's, the graph is decreasing until we get to this minimum point here. So we're decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3.19 then we turn around and we go up so it starts increasing at negative 3.19 and it increases over to the negative 0.31 remember we use x values only to identify intervals of increasing and decreasing then at negative 0.31 it turns around and it goes down to an x value of 2 so that's a decreasing so negative 0.31 to 2 we're decreasing notice I join that with a union symbol and at 2 it turns around and it increases all the way to infinity so now we have completed that multi multi-step problem <laughs>